Giant Panda Cub Lulu has safely arrived in Chengdu, China, and is now serving his second round of mandatory quarantine, Mandai Wildlife Group and Singapore Airlines SI said in a joint media statement on January 17. The cub, who turns three years old in August, completed a first round of quarantine, which lasted four and a half weeks, at River Wonders in the Mandai Wildlife Reserve in Singapore before his flight. During the second round of quarantine in Huaying, Wallen City, in Sichuan Province, the Singapore-born panda cub will be closely monitored by the China Conservation and Research Center for the Giant Panda to determine his next home. Xinhua News Agency reported that he will be in quarantine for 30 days in China. Ms. Chin Wan, cultural counselor at the Chinese Embassy in Singapore, had previously said, if all goes well, he will meet the public around Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year falls on February 10th and 11th. Under the terms of Chinese panda loan agreements, cubs born on foreign soil are generally returned to China when they turn two. Lulu made his final appearance at the pavilion capital giant Panda Forest at River Wonders on December 13th, before he was quarantined in his den on December 14th. On January 16th, the VIP, or very important panda, as SIA dubbed him, was transported to Changi Airport via the Bukit Taima, Silta and Tampanese Expressways in a customized crate for his chartered flight to Chengdu Shuangliu International Airport. According to aviation site Flight Radar 24, the flight departed at 7.17 p.m. Singapore time and landed at 11.14 p.m. Departure day was filled with emotional moments as the Panda Care team prepared Lulu for his flight and said their heartfelt goodbyes to him. Said Mandai and SIA. The Panda Care team even made a handcrafted heart-shaped cart with their good wishes for the giant panda to attach to his crate to accompany him on his journey. Guests including Minister of State for Trade and Industry Elvin Tan, Mr. Zhu Jing, charged d'affaires at interim of the Chinese Embassy in Singapore, and Miss Chin were on the airport tarmac to bid farewell to Lulu. Joining him on the flight were his keeper Tricia Tay, a veterinarian from Mandai Wildlife Group, as well as a keeper from China who fed and checked on Lulu on board the aircraft. Lulu took well to the flight and maintained a good appetite throughout, chomping on bamboo and bamboo shoots, said the statement. Luli's arrival in China marks a new chapter for him as he now officially joins China's giant panda conservation program for the protection of his species.